Welcome to my magical chamber. I am the Soul Enchantress and today we will discuss the concept of the zodiac and the 12 astrological signs that we all know and love and how they relate to your life. Firstly, as always, before we get started, I want to make a note of the fact that my videos are designed as a listening tool. Um, there are no visual distractions so that you can truly hear and understand the messages that Spirit intended for you. Also, every topic I speak about, I have actually been guided to do so by Spirit. And all of the messages and all of my videos on this channel are channeled, direct channeled messages. And I don't do any kind of pre-research um, or findings about it. It is purely channeled messages. In front of you, I thought it would be quite appropriate on an astrological chart to place one of my favourite Apophyllite crystal clusters as well as a clear quartz point um, that rests on top of it. Having said all of that, let's get started. And I'm going to let you know what I was told um, in terms of the 12 ast astrology signs and them and and the meaning that they have for your life so um, i also want to say i have no previous knowledge on astrology or its beginnings or its tenets um, yes i do cast uh, astrology energy divinations but that is dealing with the energy of the um, astrological effects and it's not to do with astrology per se um, also, when people um, stress about Mercury going retrograde or some other astrological aspect, I really don't and never have given it much thought. So this is actually quite some interesting information I've uncovered from my channeling session. And let's get started. The 12 astrology signs are point keepers in your sky and your universe. The ancients decided to use them to decode similar characteristics in human consciousness. The ancients understood that your souls come from the stars. They didn't know how or why, they just knew it. Astrology was one of the ways how they drew a correlation between star constellations and where your soul was incarnated and when your soul was incarnated into a physical body. So the ancients, um, they, they knew that there was some correlation. They knew that our souls originated in the stars. But they, they thought that if they could draw a correlation between the star constellations that they divided up into the 12 segments to form the 12 um, astrology signs, that if they could monitor that, they and knew when your soul incarnated into your physical body the time and place of your birth that they could try and draw some parallels between the star energies where your soul comes from and why your soul is here on earth the ancients believed that studying the astrological stars would help them to understand your soul's origins and the purpose on earth However, as intelligent as the ancients were, and despite the fact that they realized that your soul originated in the stars, here is a profound message that spirit wants you to know. The 12 astrological signs and star constellations are not a comprehensive guide to your soul. Your soul has intergalactic and cosmic lineages that your 3D brains have yet to evolve before understanding. So our physical bodies and our minds can only comprehend things that we can know and understand with our five senses and our 3D capabilities. And therefore the actual understanding and perception of human consciousness and the activities of 
our souls, it, it, we are not able to fully comprehend that. However, Spirit wants you to know that for now, to use the stars, but some of you are already allowing your souls to divulge the soul's own messages. That is where the information you seek lies. It's in your soul. It is not in the stars. And here is your final blessing from spirit. Ask your soul because it knows it all. Star blessings. And as always, if you'd like my help with an enchantment, a divination, a meditation or a mentoring session for your soul, I would love to hear from you. And I'd like to thank you so much for watching and listening. And don't forget to share, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you next week. Blessings.